NFTs are the real deal during this bull run, with insane prices for projects on Ethereum. But Cardano has only just launched smart contracts, which means you can be super early for Cardano NFTs. What's up, my name is Caroline and this is What's In Progress, where you'll learn how to make passive income with cryptocurrencies. In this video, I'll show you how to buy NFTs on CNFTs. This is currently Cardano's main marketplace. So I'll show you how to set everything up. I'll show you how to find trending NFT projects and how to buy one. Now, as always, this is no financial advice. I'm by no means an NFT expert. This is actually the first time I'm even buying an NFT. And NFTs are definitely a risky area of, uh, it's basically a different category than cryptos and it's even a riskier one. So if you invest in that, definitely make sure to have money that you can afford to lose. So it's basically a gamble and you have to think of the money as gone. Now, if you'd like to get an extensive Cardano projects list that is constantly updated, then consider joining the DeFi Academy. You'll also get alerts about new projects much earlier than here on YouTube. So if that's something you're interested in and if you'd like to join, go down to the description and subscribe to my newsletter. This way you'll get all the information about how to join the DeFi Academy. Plus you'll also get a weekly newsletter with the newest technical analysis. All right, so I'm now on cnft.io and this is still a very basic website. So we can quickly look through all of that. You can see home is actually the marketplace. So we'll look at that in a minute. Then if we click on mint, you'll see that this is page is still under construction. So you can see how early we are with that. Under sell, you could sell the, the NFTs that you hold. And then under launch, you also see that this is still under construction. And beta decks, yeah, that's still in beta. So the only thing that you can actually st actually use already is the marketplace. So that's this one. And in order to use that, you first need to register. You need to create an account for yourself and then you'll need to send over some Cardano to verify that account and then you can buy it. So this is what we're gonna do now. Now, in order to do that, you need to click on login. And then since you don't have an account yet, you need to click on create your CNFT account. Then you fill all of that out, click on register. And once you've done that, you can log into your account. All right, so I'm now logged in and actually this should be empty. This is what I bought yesterday. So I'll show you that in a minute. I've recorded that and I'll show you how that works. So basically this is all the information you have in here. And now before you can actually buy, you also need to add your wallet. So I'll show you that now. All right, so click on wallet and then go down and click on add wallet. Then all of this information comes up and you also have the instructions down here. So you can read through that. But what you basically need to do is you need to copy that address that is listed above above and then paste it into your wallet. So you need to send tokens from your wallet. You paste it in there and then you also need to paste the exact ad amount. I'll show you how to do that from your Yari wallet. I found that the easiest, but you can also use Daedalus or Adelaide. So copy that address and then go to your Yari wallet, then go over to send. Then you paste that address in here. And then you also need to paste the exact amount of ADA that you need to send. So go back and then copy that exact amount and then paste that in here as well. All right, once it's done, click on next, uh, enter your, your spending password and then click on send. All right, so that went through. Now wait a bit until that has confirmed. So this is the way to add a wallet and to basically confirm that your wallet is connected. All right, so if you go back to your our wallet page, this will update. Oh yeah, okay, so now transaction has been successful. And now you'll see I've added that wallet. So now you can use that your wallet or whatever other wallet you have to buy NFTs. So you then, you'll then send it over. So let's look at that now. Now in order to buy an NFT, you need to go to your marketplace and then you need to filter for the project that you're looking for. I'll show you how to find the trending projects in a minute. Let's first look at that. So you need to go over to filter, then you need to make sure that the verify policy ID is checked. This way you make sure that, it is, that they only display real NFTs. And then under project, you can type in your project, the, the project that you're looking for. In that case, I wanted to buy a crypto dino, then filter that. And then what you can do is you can sort by low to high. This way you basically see the floor price. So what's a bit unfortunate here is you don't have, like on OpenSea for Ethereum, you don't have the floor price listed anywhere, but you really need to sort it by low to high, and this way you'll see what the, the floor price basically is. So this is the cheapest one, so I, I'll go for that one. So I want to buy this Dino. 
Now what you can see is if you scroll down you can see all the tags so you basically see all the features that it has and this way you can identify how rare it is. It usually if you go to that project so if you google crypto dino you'll probably find a list or, some, or something like that where you see how rare the, those features actually are. Then you also have a bunch of other information here and then in order to buy you need to click on buy on the top and then you get a warning so you really can't send funds from an exchange you need to use the wallet that we've just added so we've done that and click on ok and now you see you have 10 minutes in to send your funds and then uh, so then the session expires so what we need to do is the exact same thing we need to copy that address into your yari wallet and send, then then send that exact amount of ADA so we'll do that now copy that address, go over to your Yara wallet and paste it under send. So that's the exact same thing we've already done earlier, but now we really want to buy that NFT. And then we'll copy the exact amount of ADA, like that, yeah. And then we paste that in here as well. And then once that's all good, we click on next, enter your spending password and click on send. Now if we go back to that page, that will automatically update once that has gone through. All right, so now you can see that the tick box, now you can see that tick has just turned yellow. So that means that my part is done. It took about a minute to update. And now what happens is that it goes over to the seller. And so that's a bit of, that's a bit unfortunate on, on CNFT, I think. What happens is it goes over to the seller and the seller gets a much longer period, I think about 24 hours, to accept your offer. And then they can accept it or they can reject it and in that case, or they can cancel it, and in that case your funds get uh, returned or refunded. But so basically your funds are locked for up to 24 hours. Now I've done that yesterday so I can, so I can tell you what happened basically. For this Dino, it took me just a couple of minutes until it updated and the seller accepted it and so I got that, that's fine. But then I also wanted to buy a space bud, so that's one of the trending uh, projects right now and it still hasn't updated. So the seller still hasn't confirmed it. So I'm not sure if that's even gonna go through the seller has another 10 hours, I think, to accept it. So that's a bit unfortunate, but you can see it was still so early. This will update. So this will upgrade this kind of platform in the future for sure. But for now, it, this is how it is. What you can do to check the status is to go to your profile, to your dashboard, and then click on active sessions, and then you'll see if it's still active. So you can see that was when it was still active. And under inventory, you'll see when it's updated, when you've received the NFT. All right, now after that has updated, you can see I got that Dino in my inventory now. You can click on it, and then you have all the information again here with all the tags and everything. And if you wanted to sell it, you simply have to click on sell token. Now, what we'll look at now is how you can find the most trending projects at the moment. In order to do that, you need to go on CNFT Analytics. I'll leave all of those, those links in the description so you can go there to find them. And now in here, you get a bunch of information, a bunch of data and analytics about CNFT. But what I find most interesting is if you go to the top right and then go to top projects, and then you can filter them by by time period. So for instance, now the time duration is last week and you can see the top projects here. You see the, the ADA volume and the total amount of sales. And you can see at the moment, Claymates, Space Buds and Crypto Dinos are the most common ones. Then you can also look at all time to see which ones are the, the favorite, the most common ones. And again, you see the top ones here or you can also go on last 24 hours. And this way you'll see what's been going on so you get a bit more data. What's also interesting is if you go to top sales, you can look at what uh, what prices those NFTs have been sold. Again, we have the same things, last 24 hours, last week, or all, last month, or all time. So, for instance, last week, the highest one is a Clay Nation uh, NFT for 50,000 ADA. Let's look at all time. All time has been a Barry Byzantine for 70,000 ADA pretty good price <laughs> and last 24 hours what have we got here okay that's again that clay nation all right so that's how you can buy nfts on cnft how to get started there keep in mind nfts are totally a gamble and i'm very new to that so i'm by no means an expert i've sim simply showed you how to get started and how i bought one but whatever money you put in there consider it gone
but that's very important to keep in mind. If you have any other questions, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter to get all the information about how to join the DFR Academy and get all those Cardano projects, all those these technical and on-chain analysis and much, much more. So don't forget to do that now. If you like this video, hit the like button down below, share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.